Hey there, out there in world land. I've uh, been out riding today with, uh, I brought a chainsaw and stuff up to Truge. If you've gone to the regular YouTube site, www.youtube.com slash, you know, at symbol lad from the woods. Um, the full videos are always there. Uh, anyways, we went for a good ride. Uh, I brought him, I, he needed a, my, my chainsaw. He'd blown up his chainsaw and I need him to come to my camp because I need him that maple taken down for, uh, for the garden. So I get sun, uh, cause it blocks the sun in the afternoon. Most important sun. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys something here cause I'm not home from the ride yet. I ran out of, uh, power on the regular DJI camera. So I'm on the phone for the moment. So there you are, folks. This is Park Lake. This is one of the free campsites on Crown Land. Okay. Oh, you see there out there? Cottage way out there. I'm not sure who that is. Oh, that might be Dougie's place where I just came from. Uh, no, he wouldn't have a pontoon out there. I think. Anyway, uh, True lives on a uh, friend of mine, Doug, uh, his land here. So he's got a big chunk of land on the lake. He's right down close to the lake. Anyways, check this out. Hey, right? not nice? Big, big old fire pit. She needs a bit of a cleaning, I guess, the next folks. Um, I was just saying in the regular YouTube videos that it's a nice little site, especially uh, for the price, free. Uh, it's Crown Land, so it belongs to all of us here in Canada. And, uh, you know, you come here, you take care of it. So, uh, and then we can keep things like this free. You know, I never thought is, uh, I was saying in the other video that there's really not a good spot for a fair size tent, but there actually is. You could probably come up here. You're awfully close to the road though. Small tent there, but you got a hump. Anyways, I, I think this is one of the spots I was saying. It, no, cause it got a little thing. So you, you don't want to be there cause the water will gather if it rains. Anyway, we're going to check out the little... Oops. Glad I'm in my big boots because I wouldn't go right without my baby big boots. One thing I did today, and my eyes are paying for it, I forgot to wear my... bring my goggles. So, and when, uh, when once I unloaded the chainsaw and everything, we went for a ride. Uh, you know, you're getting up to some pretty heavy wind speeds. So my eyes just started to water. I couldn't see. And I'm like cursing myself. I'm like, damn it, why didn't you wear your goggles? You know better. So anyway, I'll dig those out. But uh, the old Grizz, uh, I have to say, guys, uh, she's uh, holding her own with that racing bike of his. It's not a racing bike, obviously. And what I'm doing when I'm doing crazy stuff, I shouldn't be doing on a Grizzly. I really should have a Raptor. And I definitely want a Raptor. So, but True has got this thing running good. It does need the new rubber, as I said before. Uh, that'll make a big improvement, but the motor's getting uh, going to need to put rings in it and stuff. So, anyways, I'm glad uh, I've been able to ride her. She's doing uh, exactly what she's supposed to be doing. Actually, she's not a she. It's Mooney. So, and I don't want to say I'm riding Mooney. That doesn't sound right. Anyways. <laughs> anyways, you know, but... Uh, yeah, I think what we'll do is, uh, I'm not sure what time it is, I'll check, but it's going to be dark soon, so uh, we're taking a long way back to uh, to the camp, and uh, um, I'll see if I can stop a couple more places just to show you, okay? So I think we'll take off from here, so hang on a minute. I just thought I'd give you another shot of the, the lake, at least on this end of the shore. It's really shallow here. I don't know. You can see the bottom is all over. It's rocky bottom, eh? But there looks like there's a dark, like a ridge, and then it goes dark. Get in there with a canoe. You might actually do well. There might be largies hanging there. But the best place if you're in a regular boat, like for me, if I was casting, I'd be on the far side of that over there. And then I'd be casting in toward the weeds, and I'd be looking for those little open spots. Because that's, sometimes the fish will go and make a little open spot with their tails or whatever. So... Anyways, like I was saying in the video earlier, this video, one of them is like, I'm not here to give fishing lessons. It's what I would do, but I'm not a, I'm not a bass fisherman. So I'm a walleye. 
I'm a walleye trout fisherman, so trout first and then walleye. I like my fishing to be very, very challenging. So I, I can sit on the lake for three days and catch nothing and it won't bother me. I, I know there's fish in the lake. I just got to get dialed in on them. One of the lakes I do that is trout. It's a smaller lake. It's called Shabamika Lake. It's at the top of the Mississippi kind of deal, like coming from Mazinaw, Shabamika. There's a little lake in between then Shabamika. And it's a cold water lake. Uh, ha uh, it's only got a few cottages on it that you can actually drive to. The rest of them you have to take boat to. We're going to go there. We're going to film this year. I'm uh, The boat's getting ready. I'm going to go buy the battery tomorrow. And uh, Jeff hopefully is coming over to work. Uh, and we'll start, we'll get the boat started and get her going. And then uh, we can start filming that. So anyways, let's, uh, let's call this. Uh, and, uh, we'll be back. So talk to you soon. We'll see about going to the next campsite. Okay. Bye-bye. Be good, everybody, eh?